Good morning. At this time, could I have everyone please take your seats? First off, I want to wish everybody a happy Father's Day. Welcome to our uh, Sunday farewell breakfast and the conclusion of Project 2000, number 34. Uh, my name's Bill Hutto. I'm on the board of directors, and I stand here today uh, with you as an honored member of the board serving this organization. Uh, my, my career stemmed from, I started at Folsom Prison and worked throughout the prison system and uh, I started as a correctional officer and retired as a captain. I want to uh, begin the ceremony this morning with a special presentation from the children, from the CPOF kids. They should be here any second. <laughs> anyway, just to fill in a little bit before they get here, I just wanted to say that uh, it's a pleasure for me to meet the people that I met. I'd like to meet every one of you individually, but thank you for coming to join us at this Project 2000, and uh, it's just a pleasure to have you here, and an honor. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Um, I'll come back up here when it's time, so go ahead and continue your uh, conversations. And uh, I'll be right back up here as soon as the kids are ready to come in. Okay, uh, we'll begin the program with the children.
If what I am is what's in me, then I'll stay strong, that's who I'll be. And I will always be the best me that I can be. There's only one me, I admit. Have a dream, I'll follow it. It's up to me to try. Oh, I'ma keep my head up high. Keep on reaching high. Never gonna quit, I'll keep it stronger. And nothing's gonna bring me down. Never gonna stop, gotta go Because I know I'll keep getting stronger And what I am is awful And what I am is musical And what I am is smart And what I am is And what I am is helpful And what I am is special There's nothing I can achieve Because in myself I believe in though Gonna keep all it's a pile Keep on reaching high Never gonna quit just keep getting stronger And nothing's gonna bring us down no. Never giving up, gotta go no. Because I know I'll keep getting stronger Nothing I can achieve because of myself I've been leaving doors Gonna hold my head up high Keep on reaching high I'm never gonna stop I'll keep getting stronger Nothing's gonna bring me down Never give it up, gotta go Good morning. We're ready for American Idol, if you guys noticed. <laughs> so this morning, we'd like to thank all the volunteers that helped us with the kids' room. Um, we'd like to thank Renee Friedman and Jim for their time. Uh, Natalie Rocco, Terry Mosby, uh, Bakari Norman, Nicole Heyer, and um, I'd like to thank the Idaho Honor Guard. But all of you that stepped in and came by to say hello, that meant a lot to the kids as well, wanted to know who was coming in, so we really appreciate it. There's two people that I'd like to recognize, is Caitlin, if you would stand up, and uh, Karina. So these were my teen volunteers that actually help with the kids in the kids' room, which is a lot to you know have their help, so we're greatly appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. I think and then we'd like to thank the photographers for following us around the zoo and going all over the place and chasing us around. So we appreciate you guys as well. So I'd like to do something first before we continue with um, the thank you cards is I'd like to have Aiden come up. <clears throat> so everybody, today Aiden is nine years old. He is a very special young man, and he, hold, he holds my heart dear to him, me. So I would like all of us to sing him happy birthday. You ready? OK. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aiden. Happy birthday to you. You can take a bow. I don't think, I've never seen him shy, so this isn't. <laughs> um, so one of the things that I like to say is that, you know, I feel very honored to be part of this organization as a volunteer and to also be asked to be p participating in the kids' room. And one of the things that we were asked for by Christina and Rachel when they asked me to do this was, can you come in and help us with the kids' room? 
And I was like, okay, so my mission was to make sure that the kids brought, we brought a lot of joy to the kids and, you know, had them make friendships. But in the end, we found out that they gave it to us. They gave us that friendship. They gave us that joy. And to see their smiles on their faces, everything that they've been through and the relationships that they had and they built in that room is so important. So we thank them for the joy they gave us. And just like all of you sitting in this room right now, every year you come back, somebody you see from last year, you meet up again and they're bringing you joy as well. And seeing them come back to our tables is important. So uh, um, thank you for letting me have that. Um, so we're, at this point we'd like to say, we'd like to call the names out for the people that helped us donate to the kids room, correct? And so Aiden's gonna actually give them the cards. So the first person we'd like to say thank you is Terry uh, Wadley from Montana Department of Correction Honor Guard, if you're here. <clears throat> we don't need any injuries, we made it this far. <laughs> <clears throat> We'd like to ask Tom Donaldson, End of Watch Memorial Fund, to come up, please. His son's here? Absolutely. If you could just, Daryl, can you please come back? Can you come, come back so we can take a picture? There you go. <clears throat> <laughs> We'd like to ask Gary Evans from South Carolina Honor Guard. Driving, okay. Anybody here to get South Carolina? No? Okay. The next one we're going to ask for is Sergio Perez from Connecticut Department of Corrections. I mean, the Honor Guard. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to call up Laura Hodges from Michigan Department of Corrections. And all those great singers we had the other night, we thank you for your donation as well. You guys did a wonderful job singing, and we uh, were able to get some money for the kids' room. Um, that concludes our part, and thank you very much. How about another hand for the volunteers and the children? I'd like to ask Mr. Uh, Tony Mosby, uh, CPOF Honor Guard, to lead us in prayer this morning. Good morning. 
Let us all bow our heads, please. Father, we thank you for another beautiful day that you've allowed us to see and flourish within. We will continue to ask that you flourish your blessings, comfort, and strength amongst our families, the honored families of Project. We thank you, Father, for another very successful project. And you brought us through it. You led, guided, and directed us. We ask, Lord, that you continue to bless the board of directors, the office staff at headquarters that are behind the scenes many don't see. Strengthen them and let them know that we appreciate them. Lord, as we break bread, the food in which you have provided for us, we ask that you bless it, bless it, and let it be strength and nourishment to our bodies and our bodies in turn for your services. We thank you, Lord. We also ask, Father, as we finally depart from this place, but never your presence, that you give us traveling grace. Those that flew planes, whatnot, to project, we ask, Father, that you will pilot those planes from tarmac to tarmac and keeping us all safe while we're in the air. Those that drove, we ask, Father, you guide those vehicles down the highways and byways, taking us all home safely until we meet again. God, we thank you. We will give you all the praise, glory, honor, and thanks. Jesus' precious name, we all do pray, and let us say amen. Happy Father's Day. Thank you, Tony. At this time, I'd like to invite our honored families to start things off by making their way to the breakfast buffet lines. Once they've uh, kind of got there, I will, uh, I'll ask everyone else to, to go through the buffet lines as well. All right, and for the rest of us, please make your way to the buffet line. Welcome to the family, you can feel at home here. There's a lot of love that goes beyond these years. There's nothing like the fellowship of those who love the Lord. So welcome to the family. There's always room for more. The tablecloths are red and white. The tea is sweet and cold. The lines are long for that good fried chicken and green bean casserole. Old folks all are fanning. The young kids are at play. The preacher asks the blessing. It's a scene that seems to say Welcome to the family, you can feel at home here There's a lot of love that goes beyond these years There's nothing like the fellowship of those who love the Lord So welcome to the family, there's always room for more We all feel like nipping on a Sunday we stick around for a while to sing some good old gospel tunes. Doesn't matter if the voices and the songs are new or old. The song 
something in the harmony to speak into my soul. Welcome to the family, you can feel at home here. There's a lot of love that goes beyond these years. There's nothing like the fellowship of those who love the Lord. So welcome to the family, there's always room for more. When I count my blessings, it's easy to see. My brothers and sisters, that mean so much to me. Just their words, their lives have always said. Welcome to the family, you can feel at home here. There's a lot of love that goes beyond these years. There's nothing like the fellowship of those who love the Lord. So welcome to the family. Oh, welcome to the family, you can feel at home here. There's a lot of love that goes beyond these years. There's nothing like the fellowship of those who love the Lord. So welcome to the family. Oh, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. There's always room for more.
just begun to get our share of this world's deal.
I hope you're enjoying your breakfast. We're going to go ahead and get started here again. And uh, we know that uh, many of you are new attendees here at our project event. And we truly hope that you have enjoyed yourselves and will return next year with a friend or two to join our family. Now, audience, it's going to be your turn. I'd like to have Kim and Debbie kindly walk around with a microphone. Uh, families and attendees, this is your opportunity to share your project experience if you wish. We are your extended family and we want you to know. We'd just like to hear what your thoughts are about project this year. Please uh, raise your hand if you'd like to say something, and one of the ladies with the microphones will walk your direction. Testing. Thank you very much for your comments. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Good morning. Uh, my name is Nick Venutzos. I'm with the Connecticut Department of Correction. Just wanted to say it has been an honor being here. This is my first time. Um, what a humbling experience to see so many people come together, you know, joining across all the United States, um, all going through the same things each day and finally we can come someplace where we can be part of our family. So I just want to say thank you, and I look forward to uh, doing this again next year. Thanks. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Officer Carlson from the Connecticut Honor Guard. Um, it, again, it's been a humbling experience. It's been a pleasure meeting all of you. Um, and it's really been eye-opening to just see what this foundation really can do. Um, and just we appreciate every, everything everyone does all year to make this happen. So thank you. Thank you. Good morning, y'all. 
I'm with Correctional Service Canada. We're the Canadian team. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are so glad to be back. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk about was when we were talking about healing is how much CPOF gives to people. We do a really crappy job every day in our institutions and to come to CPOF I think it allows healing for all of us to know that we're not alone um, and never, you never feel alone when you're at a CPOF event. It is a, the most amazing family. And so once again, I'm so glad that you, you guys have welcomed us back and I can't wait to see you in Seattle because we are two hours away from the Seattle area so we will have a much larger contingent this time. And um, yeah, thanks again and again, I, I, as I say every year, if you are ever in Canada, if you're ever in trouble in Canada, uh, give one of us a call <laughs> and we'll help you out there. Thank you so much. Everybody have some safe travels home and take care. Thank you very much. I'm very uh, thankful. My husband was one of the ones that was assaulted. And um, I think sometimes you think well, you're trying to console him and stay strong. But this is not only for our spouses that were injured. This has been good for me. And uh, just to hear him talk more about it and, and be able to express himself in a way that he hasn't been able to. I think it's just simply amazing. Um, most of you probably don't know but I'm a nurse that works at the prison and I was there the day he was assaulted, so it was kind of rough. But you know, God took care of us. And um, I just thank God every day for a program like this that can say, we appreciate you. You know, you, don't, you can't hear that enough, it seems like, when something like this happens. And I'm so thankful that all this weekend, all the hugs and all the uh, we love you, we care about you, you know, it really made a difference, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so, my dad has worked for the corrections for as long as I can remember. My grandfather worked in the corrections. Uh, my mom even worked for the, like, the department for a while. But coming to this thing and hearing the stories of the assault survivors, the fallen families, it's really opened my eyes to what this job is and you guys put your lives at risk every day to make us safe and to make the world a better place and I now have like a newfound respect for when my dad goes to work every day. You know, it's kind of scary because he could be one of those fallen people and I, you know, I just want to say thank you. You guys do something that not a lot of people would do. Thank you so much. Good morning. All right. Um, I'm Officer Charles from uh, Gwyneth County Department of Correction. I'm here representing the Reiner family. I just want to say how much of a privilege it is. It's a difficult task each and every day when we leave home in the morning not knowing if we're going to return. And we all make that sacrifice so that all the civilians can be protected from the individuals that we try to secure each and every day at the jails and at the prison. And I'm here today to say that we all are one and we have to stand united. My co-worker, Officer Scott, that particular morning that he got shot was one spot away from where we packed every morning. And a few of us walk by not knowing that he was dead in the parking lot. 
because it was dark and we couldn't see. It was a tragic, tragic moment. But at the light of any, every tunnel, we have to be courageous. We have to pray for the family and make sure everyone is safe. This is my first time attending this, this event, and it's beautiful. I have never seen an event so well organized. So I want to say thank you for everyone who participated and make sure that this event turned out to be one of the best events. I tend to return next year to be part of the organization and all the beautiful folks that I have met throughout the past couple of days. I just want to say thank you and God bless. Thank you. Just. <laughs> um, first of all, good morning, everybody. Uh, I have so many thank yous that I need to say. Um, first of all, I want to thank Guy, who's been in my life for a long time. Your father is an amazing man. Connie, <laughs> thank you. Um, about four or five months ago, I was honored by my department with the Purple Heart. I was a little overwhelmed and I was so well recognized and so well respected that the director of prisons called me by the wrong name in the middle of the ceremony. Um, it was, it is now funny. At that moment in time, I did not see the humor so much in it. I came here as Mary, <laughs> um, with a great group of people. I have been so blessed to meet other survivors. Um, I've been lucky to have my husband with me by my side, who was like, why are we coming? What is this again? <laughs> and now he's making plans to come back. Um, I don't know what to say or how to say it except for thank you for everything. Uh, thank you for remembering my name. <laughs> um, thank you for making me a part of this. I've been a CPOF member for years, and now I understand why Guy always says, when you go to project, it changes your life. So thank you for that. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, my name's Jennifer. Um, I'm here with my sister for the first time. We're attendees. Um, we came to honor our father, Jim Brown, from Folsom. And I have to say, we wish we would have came when he was still alive, just to go through it with him. But I have to say, we are so impressed by this foundation and just even the love, the support everybody's given for everything. And the stories that we hear about our dad, we are absolutely loving. Um, so I thank everybody for those stories. Um, we're so appreciative of being invited, and we are um, going to try to go to the next one because we just want to keep honoring him and keep his legacy going. Um, his work was his life. He loved being a correction officer. He loved the museum, and he loved the people. I mean, he had nothing but good things to say about you all, and we are just so thankful and appreciative of it. And I want to say happy Father's Day to everyone here because our father's gone and he's not no longer here, but thank you to you all. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.
Good morning. My name is uh, Siwan Adela Moore, and I'm part of the uh, Regional Northeast uh, Honor Guard in Missouri. We are so proud to be part of CPOF, and this is my first time, and we really do appreciate it, all of you, for us as a Missouri Honor Guard to represent the C CPOF. So we thank you for that, and, and my thing about it being part of this CPOF, it's, I become a family for you all. I never knew that this is what it's all about, CPOF, that family and correction and the community. So I really thank you for that, and I hope next year I'll be with you all again. Thank you. Thank you. Again, my name is uh, Sergeant Terry Wadley. I'm with the Missouri Department of Corrections and uh, commander of our Honor Guard for the Central Region. But I'd also like to recognize the CPOF National Honor Guard and all the other guards that they helped to make this ceremony flawlessly on Saturday, or Friday, sorry, on Friday. Uh, we talked to Ray a lot on the phone to make sure that we represented Missouri well up there and they gave us directions. They didn't, you know, they just said, do you? And we just tweak it a little bit, but they actually make this program work too. So I'd like to recognize the national, CPO of National Honor Guard as well. Thank you. I'm John Stockholm. I, a group I was associated with, we were honored here in 2006. It was known as the Forgotten Victims of Attica. And I've been coming every year since. And a lot of husbands or wives, whichever was working in the jail, they do not know what the officers bring home with them and what they go through. And a lot of people don't understand what the officers go through. But I know, I found out a few years ago what my other half goes through. And it's, uh, it's a whole new ball game. It was always about me, but no, it's not. It's a team. And as far as what my wife went through, it's, it's hard to describe. I mean, I've, I've been married now this year, it'll be 50, 57 years. <laughs> but what this organization has done for us and other officers who worked at Attica, and just it opens people's eyes to what really does happen. And this group brings people together, and people who do never talked about it before, all of a sudden can relate to somebody telling their story. And uh, all I can say is. I've been with him since 2006, and I'll be with him until the good Lord takes me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, John, uh, I just got to know you through CPOF and I've heard your name since 1988 so you haven't been unrecognized all these years because uh, in uh, Oklahoma's training Attica has been remembered um, I'm retired from Oklahoma Department of Corrections uh, and I, I, I actually did not become a part of CPOF until after 
I retired. Walking into the prison every day and seeing the unions there, trying to get you to sign up. I never looked at CPOF as anything other than a union. Somebody trying to get my dollars for representation when I might need them somewhere down the road. Now, I'm not knocking the unions. I'm just saying I just didn't want that. And so I didn't look at CPO as the organization as it is. So administrators and, and uh, corrections officers, all of us, need to enlighten the people that we come in contact with just who CPOF is. We don't get the message across well enough. Too many people do not understand what CPOF is about. Many think we're just just the union. And I don't say that just in a sense. It's just that we're something different than a union. We are a family of people taking care of our own. And i um, thankful to get to be a part of this. Uh, and for all of you out there that I didn't come around to your table, I just want to say good morning. Uh, some tables I got to go to and say good morning. Uh, good morning, America. How are you? How's that? Uh, <laughs> we love you. And uh, I got to... My wife got me involved. I didn't understand. Sometimes you gotta shake a knucklehead to get him to understand, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I dedicated for 20 plus, a little over 20 years inside the walls of Oklahoma State Penitentiary, um, but dedicated in a different way today. And over the last, I don't know, I don't remember what year it was we got started, 11 or 12, but, uh, Thank you, Char. Thank you, board. Thank you, CPO family. We love you. And let's, let's just keep the love. Keep loving each other. Taking care of each other. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say, my grandpa has brought uh, my cousins and my brother the last few years, and they came home and they tried to describe the feeling of project. And they said love and family, and I kind of just passed it by, like, you know, I understood it, but coming here, feeling the feeling of just the love surrounding everybody and seeing that y'all do really go by the motto of taking care of our own, and just how touching that is. And I'm so blessed to be able to experience it. And yeah, so thank you guys. Thank you very much. Hi, so it's my first year here and I just wanna give a big shout out and thank you to the CPOF kids group. I was really nervous to come and hesitant because I didn't know anyone and it was my first year. But the first day, they made it super welcoming, easy to get to know everyone, and it was amazing. I just wanna give a huge shout out to them because it was great. And I thank you so, so much for making it so much easier to communicate with people who know what it's like. Thank you so much. I just want to say that I've been many, many years to the project, to project, and, and it just keeps getting better every year. Every year is just more and more special. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, we all want to thank you um, 
for attending project. And we are so blessed, the transport team is so blessed to greet you along with the airport team. And then we're so blessed to say goodbye to all of you and wish you all not only a safe flight, but also a great year. So we want to make sure everybody be safe. We're looking forward to seeing you all in Seattle. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brian James. I'm with the National Honor Guard, very proud of it. Um, I just, as Honor Guard, we, we go out there, we look pretty, and we try to do a great job. But there's a lot of people behind the scenes that don't get credit, especially the transport team. Thank you so much for what you do. I know you're going in and out constantly. Um, Bill, I'm sorry for talking because you got on camera, but that's all right. <laughs> but thank you so much for what you do and to the fallen families and the assault victims. To everybody here, we love you. Thanks, Brian. Anyone else? Going once, going twice. Okay. Thank you so much for all of your comments. It means so much to us as a board that we hear from you and know how to make project what we want it to be. And what you're saying is exactly where we want to be. Oh, I just want to remind you that we're on Facebook, so be sure to check us out and please email us at mail at cpof.org to share any pictures that you took during this project so we can include them in the next publication, our Facebook page and our uh, state-specific newsletters. If you need that email address, just uh, ask me afterwards, please. Now, I'd like to ask Commander Gonzalez please come forward with the Honor Guard team and kindly retire the missing officer table.
On behalf of our chairman, Ron Barnes, and the national directors for this board, it is my pleasure to thank you for your attendance and participation in this project number 34. We look forward to seeing you next year at project 35. It's gonna be in Bellevue, Washington, which is very close to Seattle. And please write the dates down, June 13th through June 16th. Also, uh, I'd like to thank you again. Godspeed and have a great trip home. Before we leave, I'd like to have the state representatives come up front and also Char Corby. I think everyone else is uh, dismissed. The state reps and Char are just gonna have a little, uh, little chat up here in front and uh, thank you very much again for coming. And again, we look forward to seeing you next year. It's been just a, an awesome Project 34.